Would you guys got another video here for you? It seems Windows 11 keeps asking users to back up their PC with OneDrive. This seems to be another nag box that Microsoft have started to introduce called protect your files and memories by backing up your PC. Back up your PC with a Microsoft cloud storage. Don't lose your stuff. Easy sync settings across multiple devices. You can opt out of the backup, but this will keep happening Every time you boot your PC up, you'll get nagged with this every so often. Not every single time you boot up, but uh, every so often it's going to nag you. So if you move forward with it, it's going to say, let's add your Microsoft account. One account connects your devices across Microsoft apps and services like Office, uh, OneDrive, and so on. So you can see here, a Microsoft account is necessary to activate PC backup. So now you're going to have to activate your PC backup with a Microsoft account. It says signing in is mandatory to backup your PC uh, from Outlook to Edge to Windows to Xbox. One account connects you across Microsoft. Access all your Microsoft files, apps, and services whenever and wherever. Your account, your data protected by built-in security. Keep your files, subscription, order history, and also your family digital life secure and backed up to their cloud service it says check if you have a microsoft account you can create one right here and then it will start backing you up this is what they're trying to do they're trying to get you off of a local account to connect to microsoft now of course this will be more secure but at the end of the day uh, most people don't want to be forced to do it now there is an opt out of the backup right here if you wanted to do that you can do if you wanted to back up all of those devices and connect up with Microsoft, then you would have to obviously sign in or actually create an account right here. So that's what's happening on Windows 11. You can opt out of the backup, which is what I'm going to do right here. And if you want to stop it, I'll show you how you can do that. Basically, once you're in here, you can see I'm on a local account. And this is something Microsoft is trying to phase out. They want you to sign in and be connected to them at all times. All your data will then be synced to your OneDrive. And of course, it's all part of the Microsoft ecosystem. And this is what they're trying to uh, get everyone to do. So if you want to stop that from happening, that nag box, and stop being pestered by Microsoft to uh, sign into a Microsoft account, then you can see right click here on OneDrive personal not signed in. You can see that right here. And there is a OneDrive isn't connected. There is a settings pane right here, inside here. If you have already started to sync your data, you need to sign out and you need to unsync all of this information. You can unlink the PC by clicking on this right here and it will unlink your account to that. If you've already uh, signed in at some point and it's now starting to sync all your data like your desktop, your um, documents, photos and stuff like that, you definitely want to stop that if you don't want it to start backing up all your photos. So inside your settings panel right here, you're going to see there's a few areas in here that we need to check. So what we need to do is we need to go up to uh, apps and look at the installed apps right here. And inside the installed apps, you're going to see there is OneDrive. If you don't want OneDrive, then you need to uninstall it. Otherwise, it may automatically start backing up your data uh, without your permission and sometimes that can happen if you're signed in it will start syncing and before you know it people have said that their data is already in the cloud so if you don't want that to happen then uninstall uh, Microsoft OneDrive once you've done this you can see we're still on the local account here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to system and then we're going to go into notifications here it's a bit buried but once you look down the bottom here, if you look here, there's a bunch of stuff inside notifications area. It's not there. It's in the additional settings panel just below that. And you'll need to go into the additional settings like so. And there's three little hidden areas like show the uh, Windows welcome experience after updates when you sign in uh, to show what's new and suggested. And you can see suggest ways to get the most out of Windows finished settings up this device and we also got uh, get tips and suggestions when using windows so you want to uncheck those three there and hopefully once you do that you should stop seeing that nag box popping up every time you do a windows update or every time you reboot the system it may pop up and it may nag you to 
uh, back up all of your data. So that's pretty much it for this one. Just a super quick video for today. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.